Hi, I'm Dorcas. In this video I am going to show you how to check and change the stock on your WordPress e-commerce website that is made using the plugin WooCommerce. Before you watch the video, just to be sure that this is for people who already have a website, it's already an e-commerce website and you're using WooCommerce within that website. So I'm just going to show you how to change the stock in bulk. So um, you probably already know how to do it individually for each product if you're watching this video, but this video is to do it for bulk. Um, so it's useful if you have a lot of products on your website. So you log into your WordPress website and you click on products like I have here. Sometimes you need to wait a little moment because these three buttons here at the top appear a little bit slower than the rest of the page. So you click on exports. When you click on export, what you're going to do here is you're exporting all of the files from your WordPress website. Like this. So you can see export all columns, export all products, export all categories are all pre-selected. And then I'm just going to tick that button. I don't actually need to do that now because today I only care about the stock. But it's just kind of good practice to export everything when you need it in one go. So now we click this button, generate CSV. When I click there, it's going to generate a CSV file. The CSV file is going to be um, then downloaded and saved onto my computer. Then I'm going to open it up. I can open it with Excel or Google Docs or whatever other spreadsheet program I like to use. Um, I'm going to use Excel today, I think. So it's going to get to 100%. It'll ask me where it should be saved. I'll save it on my computer in a place where I'll be able to find it again. So here the file is open on my um, Excel. So you can see um, at the top row here, this is where we have all of the like headings. And all I care about right now, because right now all I want to do is just change the stock. All I care about right now are these two columns here. So just for you, I'm just going to um, make them a different color just so that we can see them. And um, let's also just zoom in a bit to make sure you can you can see this in case you're on a smaller screen than I am. So the two um, fields here are the only fields that we care about. In stock, you can see here as we scroll down, the only options are one or zero. So one means yes, it's in stock and zero means no, it is not in stock. So of course, if it's in stock, you want to have ones. Um, but depending on your setup, that may not matter anyway. Um, so better default is just to leave it on one for everything. Um, but this is the column that you care about if you want to put in the stock. So this is where you check the product. So for example, let's just go over here to the left to see which product this is. So you can see the SKU. That's the SKU um, column. Then you can see the name of your product and so on. So you can see, for example, over here, we can change the stock to five because we have five of these in stock and so on. When you're finished checking and changing your stock, you then can save this. So usually it's good practice to like save it as a different name. So for example, you might save the file as like Rev1 or a certain different date. So once you've done that, you save it and obviously make sure you save it in a folder where you can find it again. So I'm just going to save this as, let's say, Rev0, let's say, or Rev1, because I've changed it. Rev stands for revision. It's a system I usually use when I save different versions of files. So once we have saved that file with all of the changes, now we can come back into products. And now this time we don't click add new, we don't click export, we click import. So now you're going to import. You're going to import that same CSV that you've just saved. So you upload the file, then you tick this box, so update existing products. So you just tick that box and that means that it will only update existing products because that's what you're doing right now. Once you click continue, that's this. And that is a quick way to change and check the stock on all of the products on your website in one go. Good luck. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching.